In parts of Mexico Beach, Florida, the wind and storm surge scraped the land of nearly everything. This is my bed right now normally. For the people, including Kelly Jenkins, who stayed behind and managed to ride the storm out, life has turned hard in a hurry. There's just no communication. I have no idea about the outside world, or, and nobody knows about me. No phones, no power, no food, no sanitation, not much of a home left, and no road out. Different disaster, different country, different hemisphere. The level of destruction remembers that of Palu, Indonesia, just a few weeks ago. And whether it's a storm surge or a 20-foot tsunami, these different disasters have a lot in common. You know, it's very similar to what's going to be happening here. Maximilian Dixon is the earthquake planning manager with Washington Emergency Management. Normally, hurricane victims have more time to prepare. For days, they can see the storm coming. But Michael was different. It went from tropical depression to a hurricane in just a couple of days, gaining strength at the last minute, hitting Florida as a high Category 4. With an earthquake, it's a no notice. We, we can't predict earthquakes. We got a taste of it on the last day of February 2001, the 6.8 Nisqually earthquake. Scientists say we will have something far, far worse, a magnitude 9 shaking the western half of the state with no warning, followed by a tsunami. So no matter what it looks like, well, we're, if you have to travel over debris, you're not going to be able to drive. Uh, to, in order to get to somewhere safe, it's really important that you have these key essentials. In a go bag he keeps in his car, there's not only a flashlight and extra clothing, but ways to filter, purify, and store water. A poncho potty from Japan, because we all need to go. And a lot more we have listed on our website. Because you want to stay dry, you want to stay warm, you want to make sure that you have water, you can filter it, you can boil it, have a little bit of food, uh, something hot to drink to keep you warm so you don't get hypothermia, uh, and some basic hygiene. Now, most people who did heed the warnings in Florida was is one of the reasons why the death toll so far is at least so low. The forecast is that we will have a death toll here in Washington of some 8,400 people killed by the quake and tsunami alone, another 12,000 another 12, injured, many of whom would also succumb to those injuries. And help will be a long way away and even weeks to a month before it reaches you. We, you're talking about like no warning. Don't we have some sort of shake alert kind yes, of warning? Yes, so we're developing that system. It's almost ready to roll out, but that's seconds. That just says brace oh. yourself. Maybe you get a minute. Maybe if you're far enough away, you get two minutes. You're not going to be able to go and clean out the Costco in a couple of minutes. You're yeah. just going to have to hang on and hope. So, Glenn, October, there's some significance when it comes right. to planning. Tell us what right. that is. So, anyway, so this is, it is Disaster Preparedness Month for the state. Uh, we also can give you links to these cards about how to get ready. Uh, cities and the state emergency management have produced these brochures, tell you all the stuff you need to know, you know, like ha also having like an out-of-state contact that people can text to to be able to say, I'm okay, so that anxiety at least goes away. Mm -hmm. um, so that's all part of it. Uh, we have a lot more on our website, King. Okay, I was going to say online as well. Online as well, yeah. Glenn, thanks.